I've, I've been trying to visualize everything and I've been saying for so long that this just seems like a dream that like one day somebody's just gonna wake me up and it's all gonna be a joke and all these people aren't real and I'm not standing up there singing in front of four mega superstars and on, on well now live television, it's just crazy. Well, from the start, I've always said that, like, you know, first I wanted to get through blinds, then I don't want to get through battles and knockouts. But overall, I was like, I just want to sing on national live television. I want to sing for millions of people. And I hope that when that day comes, the nerves will settle in a little bit because, you know, you've just been working so hard to get to this point. And, um, I mean, there's this is one of the biggest shows. It is the biggest show on television. So I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there watching, and I just I, I hope that I can calm those nerves and and prove that I'm I, that this is what I'm I'm born to do. <laughs> it's been a super emotional journey, and it's just been crazy. And then. You know, I get here and they give me my blind song and I work with such amazing vocal. I've, I work with vocal coaches at home, but everybody here has just been so uplifting and it's it's a great thing to, I feel like I've grown, you know, a hundred times better just in the two months that I've been working with people here. And it's, it's just crazy that, you know, cause I originally wanted to lower my blind audition song to a half step and they were like, you can do it, original key, you can do it. And I was like, no, I can't. It's not gonna happen, and it's it, and I've come to find out that I can actually sing it, you know, higher than the original key now, and it's like, it's just crazy to think of how much I've grown in such a short time. My motto in life has always been "everything happens for a reason," um, and it, that is, couldn't truer words couldn't be spoken for being paired with Christina. She is like. She is, and it's funny because you know you don't, you don't spend a whole lot of time together, but it's like she's grown to be. A, I, I feel like I can ask her anything now, and you know I feel like we could, we relate on such a, a huge level. She, so uplifting. I ask her, you know, some questions about this is an emotional journey. You know, our friends are going home. Our, our, um, you know, you're paired with a friend. You know, knockouts and battles, and it's crazy like that. You know, we have to we have to do this every single week and then they throw you a song, you have to learn it and make sure that it's great. And she just said, take time, just take time, turn your mind off, turn everything off at night and don't think about anything. You know, if you need to if you need to just mark it during rehearsals, mark it like we're artists. This is our, um, you know, our instrument. If you know, if, if athletes muscles are hurting, they're going to stop. So hearing that, that she is affirming that she knows that I can sing. But so if I need to if I need to mark it, just mark it. And I'm like. This is coming from Christina Aguilera, you know, and, and, and I have my this outfit on and she called me like a little spark plug. <laughs> and it's just I'm so glad that like they can see us for who we really are and like our personalities and our and not just who they see on stage and in, in photos and pictures, because I'm just a crazy, funny person. <laughs> like I don't take I don't take things too serious or myself too seriously anyway. So I'm glad that she was able to see that side of me. And it's just been crazy. I'm I'm. I'm cannot believe that this is happening and it's it's been the best experience of my entire life